Today, guys, we're going to do the special Saturday edition of the show. And today we have some GTA 5 news that couldn't wait till Monday, so it's happening today. So yeah, please smack the like button for this special Saturday edition of the show. And now, let's get right into the big news. Okay, so our big news today is all about GTA 5, because if you remember, I said that GTA 5 was available on the PlayStation Store for pre-order. You could basically get it ready for download on the PlayStation Store, but that meant that the game was up there somewhere. What I mean by that is that the code was out there for someone to get. And well, that's what the news is today. Because someone did end up getting into the code and found their way to some files that listed the soundtrack for GTA 5, including the radio station and music tracks. Now this is ongoing as they uncover more music, but here's what I have for you guys at this time. There will be a West Coast Classics hip hop station and it'll feature NWA, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Too Short, Ice Cube and others. There will also be classic rock stations that'll feature Queen, Elton John, Rick James, Foreigner and a lot more. Staying with the rock theme, there will be a punk station that you guys can see on screen. I honestly don't recognize any of those and uh, I'm not going to mention any. <laughs> anyway, back to hip hop. Radio Los Santos is back and we'll hear Kendrick Lamar, The Game, Kelly Rowland, Gucci Mane and a bunch more. But moving away from hip hop, there will be an electronic station and a general pop station in GTA 5 also. Now, as I said, this list is updating as they go through the coding and with that being said, there are also a bunch of songs that are listed as unknown since they haven't figured out what station they'll be on. And in this list we see Warren G's Regulate which is just a classic. Then we see things like Chief Keef, Kendrick Lamar which is pretty awesome alongside J-Rock, Outkast and even more artists. Now if you guys want to stay updated with this list I have linked it down below for you guys to check out. Also each song that's on the Reddit list you can basically click on it and it will link you to a YouTube video of the song. Anyway in some other GTA 5 news away from all this music stuff, Rockstar Games updated their website last night and revealed 8 new screenshots. Now there are some pretty cool images amongst all these and we see some helicopters, yachts, planes going over the field, the three main characters talking, a shot in the LA river, a police chase and even this shot over the moon which shows the Los Santos skyline which looks incredible. But if you were counting those screenshots you would have noticed that I only mentioned seven of the eight screenshots. The reason I only showed seven is because well the final screenshot reveals that the Banshee is confirmed for GTA 5. We can clearly see the Banshee in this image which was brought to the news yesterday. Now after I finished recording my video yesterday Yesterday, this image surfaced online showing off the real life Banshee that West Coast Customs and Rockstar Games built together. Now this is pretty awesome that it is actually real and it's awesome that one of us can win it. Because if you watched my video yesterday you know that this is going up for grabs. So yeah you can win this real life Banshee which now exists and we have an image of. And I know that Gorilla Man wants to win this real life Banshee and speaking of Gorilla Man here he is with his question. Thanks Gorilla Man. Okay guys the question is what was your reaction when you got your first console? So put your answer down below in the comment section could end up on the next show. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smack the like button because I'm Chef Chong. I said, Charlie, how the answer? Go, man's previous question.